Yo, what is going on everyone? Guiding Light here back with another quick guide. And in this one, I'll show you guys how you can open up the Nornir chest in the Avangard Wetlands. Now, these are some of the first two chests that you will come across in the game. And it's very important that you actually open up as many of these chests as you can while playing because it will increase your overall health and your rage depending on how many you open. So the chests are usually pretty easy to find. They're going to have three letters on them. And all you have to do is just simply break the three letters that you'll see. So I'll show you guys the solution very quickly. And then I'll show you guys where you can also find the second chest in this region. Now there's going to be chests all along these different regions. So be on the lookout for them as you enter into a new region because each region does have their own special ones. So this one's pretty simple. You got the first two rocks you got to break open that are basically right here next to the chest. And then the third one is a little bit tricky. So I will show you guys where you can find that. Now keep in mind when opening up these chests, the puzzle is always going to be the same. You're just going to have to find the three letters and they're always usually pretty close by to where the chest is. So you don't want to go wandering off somewhere else to try to find it because they're always within the vicinity of the chest. So the third one is going to be located up here. You will have to freeze that geyser in order to access it. And so once you have broken all three letters, you will be able to open up the chest. Keep in mind, there's also some other relics up here you might want to pick up. And then I will show you guys where you can find the second chest. So here's a quick look on the mini map of this region as well. I will show you guys the locations on the map so it's a little bit easier to find them. But like I said, guys, it's pretty easy. This one's pretty uh, close to the beginning of the game. As soon as you enter in this region, you should see it on the right side of the geysers. Now, after that, what you need to do is actually jump into the boat. Once you jump into the boat, we're going to head over to this area here. So we started there. We're going to head over to this area in the back. And you're going to dock the boat on this beach over here until you make your way into the back area. So just go around, dock it on the beach, and you'll be able to actually go ahead and head in here for the second chest. So there's only two chests in this region, which is pretty nice. And you're able to knock them out very, very quickly. So I highly suggest getting these two chests at the beginning of the game because it makes the boss fights a lot easier. And just the whole experience of the game a little bit better because you will, have, like I said, have more health and more rage so it definitely helps quite a bit in the boss fights and within the storyline as well so once we've gotten from the first location over to the second one this puzzle is going to be just slightly different it's still going to be the three letters but this time you're going to actually have to spin a panel around until those panels match the numbers so as soon as i'm done taking out these enemies that are next to the chest i will show you guys the solution to the puzzle it's a pretty easy puzzle to complete but it could be confusing if you haven't already played the first God of War. So I'll show you guys how to get this one done. So here is, you're going to see these panels here that spin around and display different numbers or different letters, sorry. And that's what you're going to do to solve the puzzle. So as you can see here, the F, B, and the N, that first one that I showed you was already marked. So I marked that one as an F. It's located right here around the corner from the chest. So all you have to do is just throw your axe at it until it spins around to the letter that you need. So pretty simple to do, but you will need to find all three of these locations. So that's the first location. The second one is going to be located right next to this geyser here. So if we take a look at the chest and we just simply look to the right of it. Behind this geyser, you might not even notice it's there. There's actually another panel that you can go ahead and spin around until you display the correct letter. So those are the first two locations that you're going to want to spin around in order to display the letters. Now, the third location is always a little bit trickier than the first two and usually does require a bit of a jumping puzzle to get to. So I'll show you guys where you can actually find this third one. So there's actually a lot of enemies you actually have to take out in this area, which are just making this a little bit harder. So make sure to take out as many of them as you can, but they do continue to spawn. So very quickly, just take out the enemies in this area and I'll show you guys how you can get to the third letter. So now that all of the enemies have been taken out, you can see where I'm located just to the left of the chest this time. This time we're going to go up this little crater here, and this is where you're going to be able to find the third letter. So just spin it around to the proper letter, and you should be good to go. So those are all of the chests in this region. One more time, guys, here's the location on the mini-map in case you guys want to go and find it. You will need to dock the boat on the beach, and that's pretty much all you guys got to do. So you'll go from that location there all the way to this beach here, and you should be able to unlock both chests within like basically the first 15 minutes of entering this area. So hopefully this helps you guys out. If it does, drop a like down below and let me know if you guys need help finding any of the chests in the other regions. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.